Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we've got our Nexus 7. This is the original. And we're going to take a look at a pretty cool 4.3 ROM. So this is the buttered AOKP ROM for the Nexus, uh, the original Nexus codenamed Grouper. And this is 4.3.1. It's brought to our device by Mr. Robinson, a recognized contributor over at XDA, and did a great job on this. I put this on this device uh, about two days ago, and it's been running great, haven't had any problems. I've tried other 4.3 ROMs and AOKP ROMs in particular, and I've had some issues, uh, buttons not working, a lot of issues with titanium backup not restoring. So we're going to fire it up here. And while you're watching that, we'll talk a little bit about it. And the developer says that this ROM will have weekly releases. So that's pretty cool that it's ongoing development on this. And we have two types of uh, ROMs in the thread. Type 1 is the full ROM in a flashable zip. You just flash it like any other ROM. The second one has an aroma installer, so you can go in and pick and choose which aspects of the ROM you want to include. And within that aroma installer, it will install the latest gaps. You can choose inverted applications. You can choose your kernel. You can choose what launchers you want to include and also the different boot animations. Now if you do the full ROM, which is what I did, uh, just a flashable zip, I think it's much easier. You do have to install the gaps as well, but the developer includes a link to where you can find the Google apps that work best with the dark AOKP theme. So that's what I did also, and I'll show that here in a second. So let's readjust the camera and we'll be right back. Alright, so as you saw it when it fired up here, I am currently running the Galaxy S4 lock screen. You can check out down below for a link to that video showing off this lock screen. I think it's awesome. I've got it on all my devices. Works perfectly. Haven't had any issues with it. So I've gone in here already and set everything up the way that I like it. I'm running the Nova Launcher. Now this is, like I said, AOKP -OK if you are familiar with that then you're going to be very familiar with all the settings and such and uh, like I said before everything is working great I haven't had any sh issues the buttons all work um, you can go in and customize a ton of stuff through the ROM control there now I was mentioning the gaps for the dark AOKP so right now I'm in I've got the dark AOKP theme running here so everything's blacked out and because I installed the slim gaps which have the inverted uh, Google apps that work well with the dark theme you see that it is indeed inverted the background is black instead of white so if we were to go in here and disable this theme and it's hard to tell on camera, I know, but the background is a little bit gray now. And if we come back into the Play Store, we have the white background now, the uh, traditional Play Store. So that's a nice little feature. Very thankful that he was able to provide that link in the thread to those um, special G apps. But here we have the ROM control and you can change a ton of stuff. The status bar, you can see I moved the clock to the center and I changed it to an orange color just, you know, to try something different. You can change the battery icon, the signal icon. You can change the, your carrier ID. Uh, you can set up the CRT off animation like I did. Uh, you can adjust the animations. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here you can play around with. And the developer says that if you try a different kernel, that will even increase the amount of options you can customize on your ROM. When you install the full ROM like I did, it automatically comes with the developer's custom kernel. 
It's based on stock kernel, but it's one that he's tweaking. He says choosing a new kernel will also increase battery life and stability, but like I said, I've been using this for a couple days and I haven't seen any problems. I had this charge overnight and you see it's almost 4 p.m. and I've got 80% battery left. So it's not bad at all. All right, so real quickly we will run Quadrant and check out the benchmark. I've gone in, I've closed all the applications that were running. So we should be good to go. Start this up and we'll be right back when it's all done. All right, well, not the best score, uh, 4,657, uh, pretty much in line with the HTC One X there, which I would expect more out of this guy. Uh, but like I say, play around with different kernels and see if that helped. And there you go, guys. Real quick overview of the buttered AOKP ROM for the original Nexus 7. If you're looking for a stable, reliable 4.3.1 ROM, then this is a good choice. I would recommend it. But that's it for me, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook, and I'll see you next time.